Are you ready for a change? Are you ready for your life to turn around? Are you ready for things to happen to bring you great success, to see your dreams and visions come to pass? Then you are at the right place at the right time, listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast. Welcome. And while you're here, please subscribe and leave us a good review. Also, let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show. So many women are reaching out to me and asking why my skin is looking younger and younger. Well, I started on my Neora journey, and I have to tell you, I'm calling this a facelift in a bottle. If you'd like to get your skincare set today, visit julietussie.neora.com. That's julietussie.neora.com. You can also reach out to me at this grace girl life at gmail.com with any questions and inquiries. I am so excited to be here with you. Wait until you hear this announcement today. All right. Are you sitting down? Are you driving in your car? What are you doing? This year is the fifth anniversary of the Julie Tussie Show. Woo! Yeah! Oh my gosh, you guys, I never dreamed in a million years when I started podcasting that I would be five years later, a fully syndicated podcast going strong for Jesus. Let's break it down. Thank you, Jesus. worthy. I'm so thankful. I am so thankful, Jesus. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I am your hostess, Julie Tussie, with the Julie Tussie Show, none other than the five-year syndicated podcast that has changed the lives of so many people, and especially women. Well, if you've been listening to the podcast, you know that the last two podcasts were the Grace Girls and Company's National Women's Conference. We gave you part one and part two, and today we're bringing you part three. Now, I'm going to be talking on um, the subject of being a powerhouse. You were created to be a powerhouse. And man, this conference, you all, was so good. I cannot wait until coronavirus is over and we can actually come out and see you face to face and lay our hands on you and hug your necks and love on you with the love of Jesus in person. But for a a virtual conference, wow, we had a great turnout. So I want to thank everybody, everybody who listened in, everybody who watched. And I wanted to tell you that are listening on the podcast, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for support. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your dedication and your devotion to this podcast. I'm honored and blessed to be the leader and creator of this. And you know, it's all Jesus. It's all Jesus. I wouldn't even be here doing any of this if it wasn't for him. And so I just want to say thank you and show a little gratefulness to you today. If you are listening, please don't forget to subscribe while you're here on iTunes. I Heart Radio, Spreaker, wherever you are, and leave us a good review. That helps us move up the charts to reach more people with the gospel. I love that, to change the lives of those around us. That's what's so, so important, especially, especially in 2021, as we have been dealing with the coronavirus for a year. We've been through isolation. We've been through so many things, but Jesus is still on the throne and we're still going forward with what he's called us to do and hopefully affecting your life in a tremendous and powerful way. Please remember to let your friends and family know about the Julie Tussie Show and welcome now to the third night, the party night of the Grace Girls and Company National Women's Conference. Welcome to the National Grace Girls 
conference. Grace Girls and Company. We are in party mode. In case you couldn't tell, he, he could have left that going. <laughs> <laughs> if you could see what's going on behind the scenes when you're seeing the pink screen as the intro, we're like, everybody in here. do because what is going on? This is the third and party night. night. I am your hostess, Julie Tussie, and on my left side, attached to my hip most of the last 30 years, and me to her, is the right, right Reverend S.J. Gessner, Stacey yes, Jones. <laughs> yes, 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 We've been hanging out, and uh, we've you know, had a good time. Oh, my goodness, it's oh my, been I can't so good. I night. know, it's like we just started. I know, I and know. You know why I'm attached to your left hip? No. It's because I'm left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right-handed. So that's that's right. That's exactly right. This exactly works. Well, right. Well, if you've been tuning in, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, if so you much. If you have not, you can go back and catch the replays. And in the replays, we're going to leave it open, I think, for a couple or three days for the drawings. We've been having prizes yes, and drawings yes. and gifts goodies, you all, goodies. Left and, and right. Oh, my gosh. The word. Yes. The music. Tonight we have even greater things. <laughs> Every night it gets better. It does. I told Stacy I wanted to go shopping and start buying all kinds of stuff to give, yes, give to away the, to the Grace Girls that tune in. Yes, yes. Now while you're watching this, we're doing a simulcast. We're recording for television. We're on Facebook Live, and Stacy's on her Facebook Live. So hello, everybody. Everybody, everybody. Now all of this came about because of the call of God. The oh, call of God yeah. on our lives. And um, if you are not watching, I'm sorry, if you are not listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast and the Grace Girls and Company podcast and the Real Gary Tussie podcast, oh, man, you're missing oh, out. Yeah, you're time. missing out. So iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spreaker, just about any platform you can get podcasts on, you can go and listen to all three of those podcasts. And they are word-filled, fired up, packed. And, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So yeah. Life-changing. Yes, yes, yes. Life-changing. So please go there and um, subscribe and leave reviews. And what that does, I don't know if you knew this, Stace, but when people leave a good review and they subscribe, yeah. it elevates your uh, podcast through Mm. The bot, you know, the bottom layers. Sure. And when I first started, you all, there were not that many podcasts. No, not when and you now started. Now there are like millions, millions. millions. Yeah. So we've been syndicated and podcasting for five years. I know that sounds like a long time, but I've been ministering for forty. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I'm thirty plus some. <laughs> and somebody's got a birthday coming up in ten days. <laughs> Yes, and I'm going to be 30 again. 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 For oh, 500 times. Time. And so I'm excited about that. But so March is a special month for me. Yes. And as I was, I guess almost from day one, when the Lord called me into ministry when I was 17, I had a draw to minister to women. Not that I don't go in churches and speak to, right. you know, everybody, men, women, boys, girls. Right, right. But they, I have this special place in my heart for women. And yes. I started in, yes. believe it or not, Women's Aglow. I so remember aglow. those. <clears throat> I, my I mama was part of that. I know. Where did it go? Where's my I, Women's Aglow go? don't know do they is an ex, is it an extent i don't know i don't know but i'm telling you i loved women's Aglow. oh yes and they would have me come in and sing my little heart out and i'm barely you know <laughs> 20 sing my little heart out and then god would fall and i'd start prophesying and i'd share a word and that's where you know i cut my teeth on women's aglow and going on the road yes with, um brother alfonso who's like a spiritual dad to me and his wife we went on, he took me out when I was like 18, and that's kind of how I started. But from that first get-go, I had this desire to minister yes. to women. And why? Because women have so much on their plates. Yes. And we're kind of, you know, we're the ones that have the babies. And traditionally, it's not in every home, but traditionally, we stay home and we raise the kids. Yes. And we we get this mean girl in our head. Yes. Which is an agent of Satan. <laughs> you know what I mean? This mean girl in our heads that tells us, you're not good enough. Yes. You're not skinny enough. You're not beautiful enough. 
you right. uh, you are so backwards. They don't like you. You're by yourself. All you're good for is, and you get yes. all of this stuff. Yes. And I knew that because I was that way. I yes. was that way. And I can Me too. praise yes. God say now when that mean girl starts talking, I mean, boom, I know who's talking to me. And she is not going to rule my life. But it right. took me a long time. And many times women are victim. They're victim of um, abuse yes. because we're physically weaker than men. We're victims of um, crime because we become a target because we are as right. the weaker vessel. But right. I'm telling you, in my heart, and that no disrespect to men, but when you get a praying mama, oh, look out. Oh, my Lord, in heaven, it is smack dab bringing earth and heaven together, and that thing is going to be fixed. Yes. So yes. when you can reach women, yes, you are changing the world. Go on. When you reach women, you are changing the the world, literally. That's it. And I have a message for you tonight that I'm going to share with you that is off the chain, going to set you free. So Amen. if you're watching Amen. right now on Facebook, please share yes. this to your page. Tag your friends. Let them know what we're doing, okay? Because this whole thing, you coming all the way from Michigan, uh, yes. me spending hours designing beautiful pictures, yeah. which I love, by the way. <laughs> um, you should. You know, the prayer, the, all the of it. getting in the spirit, worshiping God, getting in his yes. presence and finding out what it is he wants to say, say. that's all for you. Yes. That's all for you because you're valuable. And you're precious and you're important. Oh my yeah. gosh, I just want to go, go I just want to go on and preach. Go on, go on. But I'm telling you, there's That's things good. that we need and God makes sure we get them. Amen. There are things through our lives that change. We start out in our twenties, we have our babies, twenties, thirties, sometimes forties. We raise our children and our life changes at different levels. And at every level that mean girl is trying to beat you. Oh, yes. And she talks and very loud sometimes. Girl. I hate yes. the mean girl because that mean exactly. girl in your head, she will talk meaner to you than you would ever. And we all know it's you, but it's influenced. Right. She would talk meaner and nastier and more degrading to you than she would ever speak to any other human being on earth. And I That's call good. BS on that. Yeah. I call yeah. no more of that garbage in your life. Amen. No it's more true. of that garbage in your life because you are created by a kind, caring, loving father. And maybe you didn't have that. Yes. Maybe you didn't have that. Okay. Yes. Some of us had great fathers and some of us did not. But I am telling you, Father God is not like that abusive man. He's not like that mean alcoholic father. He's not like that drug addict addicted person he's not Amen. even he's not even like that man who doesn't think you're worth anything that is mm. not our father he is daddy he is a restorer he will fix you from yes, the inside, inside out. out won't he stacy yes he will i don't care oh my gosh don't get me you're, going she's i don't on the care fridge. how she's on bad the fridge. you were treated do yes. you know that god can heal you so much that it's like it happened to another person, person. It's yes. like it wasn't you. You know about it, but it does not affect you. Right. Oh, my Lord. Right. You, she's got oh the preach on her now. <laughs> got it on me. But I knew. I knew that the Lord wanted us to do this conference. Oh, yeah. So this conference is for you, and it's for every woman in your circle. Yes. Do you know, I started this campaign. I'm just going to mention this. Yes. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. You're doing good. I started this campaign on Facebook about breast cancer awareness. Yes, you did. Yes, and I I'm I just believe God that that is just something that we as women we are going to beat it. We are going to fight Amen. for each other and it, it's something that brings women together and it's something that comes out of the blue seemingly. And so I wanted to do something to reach women about breast cancer awareness. And the thing that I realized for myself is that many times we're not doing our breast exams every month. We're right. not going and getting our mammograms. We're not taking care of ourselves. And that's a whole other issue and another topic that I've talked mm -hmm. about on the podcast a lot. 
But the biggest thing was that we were trying to care for ourselves uh, alone. Yes. So I started this campaign, and it was kind of funny, but I said, when you pay your house payment or your rent, she does. on that day, you text all the girls in your circle. Yeah. Yes. And you tell them, check your breasts. Yes. Have a code word. Have a code phrase. Uh, mm-hmm. Going to the grocery store, did you check your list? You know what I mean? <laughs> Check out my earrings. Whatever yes, it is whatever. You need to send to your girls. Yes. Because your mamas and your aunts and your mm-hmm. sisters Grandmamas. and your girlfriends yes. and your grandmothers and your baby girls and your BFFs and your church girls and your choir girls and your that circle. I'm talking yes. about that circle that God builds around you. Yes. They need you. They need you. And this mm-hmm. is just one area. So if you get a funky text from me saying, did you check out my earrings? You know what to do. <laughs> so I started that campaign. But I feel like that that is, was a start of God teaching me how, as women, we are interconnected. Mm, that's good. And that if we will watch out for one, one another, another. Yes. we will watch out for one another. I'm not talking about mothering you. I don't mother you. But, no. man, I love you enough that if I'm concerned that we should watch out for breast cancer awareness, yes. I'm going to make sure that I tell you. Right. And I don't know if I'm saying that because you all need to know that, but I'm telling you, it's this circle thing, this circle thing. Yes. Oh, my Lord. That's so good. That's so good. Woo! So Mm -hmm. I have a word for you tonight. I'm going to go on. Yes, she does. She does. (laughs) Go right ahead. She's got the preach on her now. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to teach you tonight about something I'm going to call. I already taught this on my podcast. There's a whole series on the podcast. The Lord has already told me. To write it in a book, and I'm like, okay, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Um, I'm not seeing anything over here at all. Okay, there we go. Down for a minute, but it came back. Okay, all right. Okay, so Facebook kind of knocked us down for a minute, and in Jesus' name, this is all staying up, and we own every bit of the music that you hear. We wrote it, produced it, recorded it, um, and own the copyright. But I did this series, and the Lord put this in my heart, Stace. Yes. And he's one day, and this is how God is with me. He's like kind of a one word God a lot of times with yes, me. Yes, he is. Like yes. the song Resplendent. He gave me the scripture, or he gave me this word Resplendent. And I, Gary had written music, and we, we weren't even writing an album yet. We're just playing in music, right? And Gary wrote this music, and the Lord said, when I heard it, he said Resplendent. And I thought, Resplendent. All right. So I literally had to get a dictionary. To write that, I didn't know what that meant. I had an idea, but I did not know what it meant. So literally, I read the definition, and I wrote the song in like 10 minutes. Mm. Well, that song was submitted to a record label, and two weeks later, we had a national record contract on our front porch. Oh, my goodness gracious. When I tell you that God, and he will work this way in your life, too, but God will give me a word. Mm -hmm. Does he do that with you, like a single word, and you got to go seek it out? I mean, he's different with everybody. He's different with me. Okay. I can imagine he talks Southern. (laughs) And very goofy. Very goofy things happen. Stacy, he talks to me in rhyme. I don't know a lot. So... So he gave me this word powerhouse, and and it was related to women, and I was going to call it powerhouse women, and I started out that way, and the Lord said, no, 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 I want you to call it being a powerhouse, powerhouse for men and women alike, but I always liken it unto women, okay, because I'm a woman. So Mm -hmm. the powerhouse series um, that I'm going to teach from tonight was actually episode 223. Yes, we've, we're well in the 200s on the podcast. Oh, my word, yes. Thank you, Lord. And... What I want to tell you tonight is that you are created by Father God to be a powerhouse. You are created mm. to be a powerhouse for Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now Amen. See, you, Amen. You hear me talking about this mean girl. This yes. This mean girl, she don't want you to be a powerhouse Mm-mm. for Jesus. She does not want you she wants to, to be in control. all that you were That's created right. to be and to do all that you were created to do. Because, That's honey, right. I'm going to tell you. I've been doing this 40 years. There is nothing, nothing on earth like stepping into the perfect call 
and will of God. Doing what you were created to do. Yes, amen. There's nothing more fulfilling than knowing that you are doing what Father God, the Holy Spirit, and Lord Jesus mm. have designed you to do. That's it's right. It's like a puzzle falling together mm. and the pieces fit perfectly Perfect. and you become complete. Amen, amen. It is Oh my gosh, it, I can't there's tell nothing you. like it. You're right. And let me tell you, I have not always been there. Mm -mm, me and sometimes neither. I'm no. there and sometimes I go out. Yep. Sometimes I'm there and sometimes I go That's out. Right. Now, after 40 years, I'm pretty good at staying there. But I'm telling you, I had to learn some things to stay yes. there. I had to discipline some things in my life to stay there. And I had to surrender some things Ooh, in my there it life is. to stay there. Mm. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So, you are called and Jesus never takes it back. This comes from Romans eleven twenty nine, which says, For the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. repentance. I love that, Stacey, yes, because so many people put this pressure on us. Well, you know, I hate this, too. Well, you know, if you don't do it, God's going to replace you with someone else. Oh, good Lord. Oh, honey, don't even take me don't there. Don't go there. Mm -mm. Will somebody do that job? Probably. But no one can ever replace you. You are no. irreplaceable. No one will ever do it the way you do it. No one will ever be who you are. No one will ever mm -mm. say it the way you say it. No. no one will ever have the anointing that you carry. Right. Woman of God. Grace girl. That anointing yes. that is only, only for you from the Heavenly Father. Amen. I mean, I liken it unto our personalities. Uh, it, yes. You, I am me. And you are you, and you, you are, are you, you, and you are you, yes. and Gary is Gary, <laughs> and we all have a personality. Can, if I'm removed from the earth, can somebody replace me? Oh, honey, God broke that mold. <laughs> And mine too. That's right. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So don't don't go there. Right. The gifts and the calling of God are without repentance. Another thing, another point that I always make with this is that it don't matter if you running from God. No. Honey, he knows where you are. Oh, he'll. Mm -hmm. He ain't never changing his mind. He ain't never, no. never going to remove that call or remove those gifts. I've heard that as punishment preached in the church. I'm sorry. Yes. I don't believe that. Unfortunately, you're right. Yeah, I don't believe that. You can't I don't be either. bad enough no. that God doesn't love you unconditionally and you can't no. be good enough to earn his love. Mm -mm. Okay? He just loves you. And he has a call, <clears throat> a purpose, a destiny, and a plan. A call, a purpose, a destiny, and a plan for your life. Amen. Woo! There it is. <laughs> There, that's my next point. God has a plan, purpose, and destiny for your life. He has created you to be a powerhouse. Yes. And what a powerhouse is, is a center of influence, just in general terms. You are called to be a center of influence. What did we talk about? The circle of women mm -hmm. and people that God has put in your, your life. life. Yes. That becomes your circle, circle yes. of influence. Fluence. Say it. The circle, circle of, of influence. influence. Okay? So you are called to influence those around you. Yes. It's time, Grace Girls. It's time, men, men of God watching. It's time, teenage girls watching and teenage yes. boys watching. Yes, yes, yes. That we... It's time that what we are, we become. Mm. Think about that. Mm. We'll be right back after these messages. Only on the Julie Tussie Show are you going to hear that you are not created to be ordinary but extraordinary. You are not created to be common but uncommon. You are not created to be average but above average. You are not created to be tolerable or passable. No, but you are created to be remarkable, noteworthy, impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. We could go on and on about how awesome you are. Beautiful You Medical Spa in Lexington, Kentucky has a fabulous special for you. First time facials are only $50. Beautiful You providing the highest standards of beauty treatments. Tell them Julie sent you. 
If you're anything like me, I love to rock my style with gorgeous jewelry, but I'm always looking for a really good deal. So I have become a plunder girl. You can find me and the magnificent pieces of current and trendy jewelry right here at plunderdesign.com forward slash Julie Tussie. Again, that's plunderdesign.com forward slash Julie Tussie. Go shop and rock your posh. I want to take a minute to say thank you so much to our supporters, underwriters, sponsors, those of you that give to our nonprofit corporation, The Voice Incorporated. If you'd like to partner or give a one-time offering today, please go to TussieOnline.com and look for the donate button. You can also give at the Cash App. That's the cash symbol sign with The Voice INC and on Venmo, The Voice INC. For those of you asking to get my fabulous skincare, which is like a facelift in a bottle, you can go to julietussie.neora.com. And now, back to the Julie Tussie Show. That's good, it's Julie. Time that what we are, we become. I'm talking about what you are in the spirit of yes. God. What you are when Jesus looks at you. Yes. Not what you are when you look, look in the mirror you, in right. your sweatpants after you got popcorn dribbling down in your shirt and your hair hasn't been done for three days and your messy bun is sideways and the baby's hanging off your leg. I'm not talking about that. And needs a diaper change. <laughs> What about when you're trying to use the restroom and hands are underneath? Mama, mama. I'm not talking about that. It's time that what we are, we become. It's time yes. that we become what he created Amen. us to be. And I yes. say that jokingly, but many times we walk in life, and you know, you can live your whole life without doing any of, the, any of this. This is true. It's this sad. Is true. It'll it be is. a sad situation if you don't, and your life will be so much better if you do. But it is time that we become what he created us to be. It's time that you look in that mirror and, yeah, you see. Honey, you don't think I've I've been in that mirror? You don't think? Oh, my Lord. You ladies, you know I could talk about my weight loss story, and that's how I kicked off a podcast. I just started sharing my life, and my biggest problem was I got a hormone problem. mm -hmm. And every time I try to lose weight, I can't lose weight. You don't think that the devil and the mean girl don't beat me up over that? All the time. You are unworthy. Yes. You are such a, you you look like you're uh, slothful. You look like you're undisciplined. Yes. Do you know anybody more disciplined? You. You're more disciplined with food well, than I am. That was a long <laughs> haul myself. 20, 30s, and 40s, and I'm stopping yes. there. I was like a maniac disciplined with food. Yes. So I've been there. I have looked in the mirror. I don't see me the way you see me. You think I'm oh, I think gorgeous you're the most gorgeous thing? bombshell that ever walked the face of the earth that God created. I, and I, I tell her that is. all the time. But we as women, we, we don't get insecurities. Yes. Insecurities, we, I think. We see the flaws. We see yes. the flaws. Well, you know what? It's time to put on your Holy Ghost sunglasses and start seeing oh. yourself. Oh. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Maybe we should. Let's put on our Holy Ghost Here sunglasses. Here we go, girl. Okay. And start seeing yourself. Mine aren't, mine aren't fitting over there because of my body <laughs> But it's time to, and this is fun. This it is, is fun. fun. I love it. But it's time to put on a different pair of glasses, a That's different right. way that you see yourself in that mirror. It's right. time to lighten up and begin to choose your battles. Bridget. Girl, girl, I'm telling you, Bridget. that laundry is going to need to be done 25,000 million times <laughs> before you leave this earth. Would right. you choose your battle? Yes. Would you stop telling yourself how horrible you are because mm. your laundry isn't perfect? Would you stop trying to keep your house immaculate so Susie Q will think you're the bomb? Right. So you can keep up with so and so. Right. So you can keep. Would you start choosing your battles? Mm-hmm. Oh my lord, I had to learn that. Six kids, nine yep. grandkids, y'all. I'm like, if y'all want to live in this mess, you go ahead. I'll let the house be messy. I will never let my house become filthy. No, when filthy, it can, You dirty, can ask no. Gary Tussie. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> right. I right. choose that battle. But I can't, right. I can't keep up with that many people. No. And if they want to leave their clothes on the floor in their room, I'm not going to sweat that. I'm going to go and pray, and I'm going to spend time with Jesus, and I'm going to realize I got some value here. Yes. And if I'm valuable as your mother, you're going to learn to pick up after yourself. Right. 
You know what train I mean? Train them in the way they yes, should go. Yes, And of course we train them. But yes. I'm saying you got to choose your you battles. Do. You, you do. You got road rage? Okay, come on, honey. Is it really that important to be there going 75, 85 <laughs> miles an hour and want to hit somebody? <laughs> Helper Jesus. <laughs> And get angry when you could just leave the house five minutes earlier or just say to yourself, you know what, it's, I'm only going to the mall. <laughs> I'm right. only going to choose your battles. Choose your battles. And then after the road rage, you feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm I'm such an idiot. I'm horrible. The mean girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Take some pressure off of yourself and realize God has called you to be a powerhouse. Mm. You have a circle of influence that is important. Yes. You don't add time to be down on you. Amen. We've Amen. got to be aware. You've got to say that again, somebody. You needs. don't have time to be down on you. Mm. You are part of the kingdom. Yes. Sister. You are part of the kingdom of God. That means you live by a different standard. Mm -hmm. When that doctor tells you you have breast cancer or gives you a scare, we saw something in the in the mammogram. mammogram. Honey, you don't. You don't bow to that. Right. Do you feel emotion? Definitely. Oh, yes. Yes. But whose word? Whose report are, we are you going gonna to believe? believe? You live in a different yes. when that enemy comes, when that report comes, when that that attack comes. Man, you start standing on this word and you tell it no in Jesus' name. I don't care what the doctor says. Jesus is my healer. Amen. By his stripes, I, I am healed. healed. When they gave me the report about our daughter that she had a disease. Yes. That when she she looked like she was bitten all over by fleas and it swelled, that she something was hurting her bladder and her urinary system. She had some kind of uh autoimmune thing going on. How old was she, Gary? Four. The mm, day, mm. the year she turned four. Mm -hmm. And they said she'll have this till she's 11. I can't even remember wow. what it's called because I'll tell you what. No. No. I am, mm -mm. I am a woman of God who lives in the kingdom of God. I am a grace right. girl. Yes. I have the grace of, of God, God on yes. my life. I live according to the Bible. Amen. The Bible does not mm -mm. say my child will have diseases. No. It said Jesus went from city to city healing them of all diseases. All sickness and, and I'll tell diseases. you what I did. Right. I put that on my computer screen and it went across my eyes hour after hour after hour after hour as I did our book work for our company, as I wrote songs, as I typed songs, as I worked on church stuff. It went across my screen and yeah. I saw that continually. Right. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. We've got to be a powerhouse for Amen. Jesus. Amen. Because mm. we're in the kingdom. Man, That's it. We're in the kingdom. And about the time, we must know the times that we live. We can see what's going on in the world. And I'm yes. not going to get into eschatology and all that. All I'm going to say is that every day that goes by, it is a closer time to Jesus coming back. Yes, it is. Uh, every day, whether it's in our lifetime or the next. We don't know. The Bible we tells don't us know. we don't know. Mm -mm. But we must be aware, aware of the time. We are in a darker time than I have seen in my, in my lifetime. Years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in my lifetime. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So let's be aware of the times. So we don't have time to beat ourselves up. We have a call. We have a mission. We have That's a ministry right. that is right. of reconciliation. Mm. Maybe to the pulpit. Maybe to the fivefold. We have a reason that yes. God has called us to his kingdom Amen. like we talked about on the first night. Right. Such a time as this. Amen. Amen. This is good. So this brings us to the question, what is a powerhouse? Let's talk about All what right. a powerhouse is a little bit. Here goes the glasses Woo! because we're in our 20s. I can see one person. <laughs> I don't know why we can't see anything tonight, but we love you guys so we much. We do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. All right, so the definition just out of the dictionary of a powerhouse is a source of influence or inspiration. Yes. One having great power or strength. Mm. One mm. having great drive, energy, or ability. Mm. I love this. An athletic team characterized by strong, aggressive play. <laughs> That's what you should call my powerhouse circle. <laughs> An athletic team characterized by strong, aggressive play. Amen. Don't you play with me, devil. Mm -mm. Don't you play with me. No. I am a uh -uh. praying mama. And I yes. will 
hit the floor on my face before God. I will yes. go without food, but you will not destroy no. my family or no. my circle of influence. Mm-mm. You can try, but you will not win. And when Amen. I'm done with that, I'm going to call my girls. I'm going to call you my go. girls. Yes. Because Amen. when we agree... Yes. Any but any two agreeing on earth is touching one thing. It's done here and in earth. And I am telling Amen. you, this works. You all might think I'm crazy. And you might not know Jesus at all and think I'm just absolutely crazy. But I'm here to tell you, this <laughs> no. is a, I live in a world that, that other people might not live in. <laughs> I live in a world. That other, so my group is an athletic team. <laughs> I wish I was and, bad and at it. If you all were really like a diva queen. <laughs> exactly. I was just going to say. <laughs> More of a glamour team. More of the glam squad. The grace girl. That's what I'm glam saying. girl. <laughs> Characterized by strong, aggressive play. And not only strong, aggressive play in the spirit, but I'm talking about, Gary teaches about that we as the children of God are supposed to be like the word pahis that we play in and, mm-hmm. and with that we play and we have fun and we live our life. I'm telling you, I end every podcast that you need to live your life to yes. the fullest because you only get, get one. one. You only get one. All right. So the Let other thing that I found is it's a person of great a person or thing of great energy, strength or power. And then this I love this. The urban dictionary. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Here, here we Powerhouse go. is a word used to describe someone who exerts a large amount of power, <laughs> typically in football, but no, I'm going to say t- typically in the spirit, who can, that can annihilate his opponent with both great, uh, with both uh, strength and occasionally grace. <laughs> <laughs> So occasionally it's going to be graceful. (laughs) But I love these these meanings because I love that powerhouse is a source of influence or inspiration. It's one having great power and strength. Okay, so I will say this. You know, I don't know why I come up with these crazy names, but Sally Sue and JoJo, (laughs) they gossip about you all the time. You know about them. Do you know who they're going to call when their husband drops with a heart attack? The woman full of power power and strength. strength. The powerhouse in their circle. Yes. And that's that's true, Julie. I'm not kidding you. That's true. You all, I was bullied in school. I was little teeny tiny. She was. I wasn't even, I was 5'2 when I graduated and I grew to. Almost 5'5. After I graduated. Well, I was a late bloomer. You beat me by an inch. (laughs) Well, but I'm not. I'm not kidding you. The that one of the bullies. There was two or three that bullied me all the time, and they were older than me. They were bigger than me. They were meaner than me because I wasn't. I wasn't always mean, and that that affected me. Like oh, when yes. I started in ministry, I was pretty insecure because I had been bullied. I had other things that we'll talk about sometime, but other things that had happened in my life, and you may have been that way too. But that affected me when I began to minister. I felt less than. Yes. I felt not enough. I felt like there must have been something wrong with me if they would bully me that way. Mm. And I was angry about it, too. And it was about, Gary, I was married to you, and we lived in Monroe? No. Where did we live before where we built our own house? Goodrich. I lived in Goodrich, so that would be about 2006. Mm -hmm. So here I graduated in 81. All this happened years before that. 2006, we're on Facebook. Oh, yes. Do you know who sought me out? No. My biggest bully. Are you kidding kidding me? I am not kidding you. And I started singing publicly at the age of nine, and then at 17 I went into the ministry And do you know what she said to me? She had no idea, you all, how her bullying me affected me. Oh, my goodness. And she said, I have admired you since we were in school. And I love what you are doing with your life. That gives me goosebumps. It did me. Oh, my Lord. So, you guys, we've got Mm. to not let, we've got to realize that those people that are persecuting us, first Mm. of all, Jesus said, 
that the hundredfold return comes with persecution. persecution. Yes. Okay? That kind of helps me. Do I like persecution? Oh, no. Because mm -hmm. I want everybody to love me. I do. <laughs> I want everybody to love me because I love everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I want them to love me. So when they have mean things to say, that hurts, hurts. my feelings. I'm tender hearted. And yes. I have had to work on this. Yes. You ask Gary, he can't mm -hmm. hardly say anything to me corrective wise because it's just hard for me to bear. So I've had to get some tough skin. Yeah. Get a bit of, a bit of that leather. That very person that is persecuting you, they need a powerhouse mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. And they're it. And they're going to get it. If you yeah. can forgive them yeah. and stand for them and pray for them. All yes. right. We're talking amen, about influence the lives, influencing the lives of those in your circle. Those that live in the circle of your life. Mm -hmm. These are the circles of, of your, your lives. lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I want to tell you a few things about a powerhouse. A powerhouse is influential. A powerhouse is strong. A powerhouse stands through storms. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Anybody mm. in a storm? Mm. I know mm. there's people watching and listening that are in Absolutely. storms. Absolutely. I'm telling you, you will stand. You can stand in a storm because God has an anointing on your life, a call on your life, and yes. you have a purpose and a destiny. And the last one point on this is, you are a supply area. Amen. Oh my Amen. Sometimes I feel like I'm. A spiritual grocery store. I know. You know what I mean? I do. God I just do. brings people in, whether it's the kids, exactly. the family, the girlfriends, mm -hmm. then new people through Facebook. Yes. And I feel like they need what I got. Some, they need absolutely. what God's put oh, in this powerhouse. Good. They need a supply. They have a need that yes. must be supplied. I don't, I don't care if it's physically or spiritually or emotionally. Right. Right. God will give you the supply for your oh, circle. Amen. amen. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is good. Yes. That is good. So what let's talk for a minute about what robs your power. I mean, Gary gave us some good things that's going in my book. I'll just mention them. A bad connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are not connected to the power source. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not recharging. There it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, you forget to turn off the switch. The switch would be diligence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, oh, no, you forget to turn on the switch. The switch is diligence. So thank you, Pastor Gary Tussie. Yes, that was right. good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I love that. Uh, thank you. He's making my book go. He's making my book going to be amazing. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> the number one thing I believe is that we lose our power when we give it to someone mm. or something else. Ooh, mm. there that is. Mm -mm. We're All reading right. again. Okay. We become powerless when we give our power to someone or something else. Uh huh. This makes us a victim in our own minds. Mm. But that, that's true. Getting that victim mentality. Yes. How many pe women, especially, yes. have you met that have a victim mentality? Yes. Well, I would, but da 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 da. This happened. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes. We live in a victim mentality when we give our power to someone else. So I was giving my power to that bully. Yes. I was letting what she thought of me, how she treated me, how I perceived her treatment of me. Mm -hmm. Rob me of my power. And honey, it's time that we take our power back. Isn't that the truth? We live in a victim mentality which becomes, uh, which makes our view skewed. Our view of life, our view of ourselves, mm -hmm. our view of our world, it becomes skewed. Our minds mm -hmm. think and operate like we've been victimized. victimized yes. And I just want to say, if you have been victimized, I am not demeaning that. No. But I am going to tell you that you must heal from yes. that, and you can be completely free of it. Amen. Yes. Do you have a valid reason that you feel victimized? Most of the time, we do. Yes. Did somebody say something mean? Did some woman sleep with your husband? Did some girl uh, give you the 
What for on Facebook in front of all your friends and family? Did your stepchild tell you off and make you feel an inch high? Did I can't even imagine the things that yes. just make us as humans right. feel like we're victims and, and go back into the mean girl and give our power mm-hmm. to, back to someone her. else. Yeah. To her, yeah. And you know what? I'll just tell you this. I have been legitimately victimized at the hands of church people. Mm. All right? None of us are perfect. You're going to find it everywhere you go. And unrightly and unjustly and misjudged. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you right now that I will not. And I did give them my power. I quit the ministry. Yes, you did. I quit the ministry. And I gave them my power. I love Jesus with all my heart, but I told him, I said, I'm not doing this. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. I can't do this anymore. And as I grew through that and matured, I learned, you know what? I gave them my power. Do I need them to be what Jesus created me to be? Was he there in my mother's womb? Was she there in my mother's womb? No. 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 (laughs) They really, really have nothing to do with your success, right? with your obedience, with the call of God. And Gary helped me to to learn this because, man, I was broken. You talk about a bruised reed and a smoking flax. I was broken. And I had a call in my life from the time I was a child. Yes. And I laid it all down. Please don't do that. Dear God, please don't do that. No, no. Don't give someone else your power. power. Don't no. give them your power. No. Jesus came to set us free, to set our minds free, to heal our minds so that we think like him. Amen. We think the word and we believe the word is more true than anything we've suffered at the hands of others. Mm, amen. We got to get in the word, women of God and men of God. Yes. We got to know this Bible. We don't even deal with the Old Testament. Don't even go there if you're not used to reading the Bible. Read the New Testament. Yeah. Find those red letters. Those are Jesus talking. talking. And focus on those red letters and focus on when the Holy Ghost came and the Holy Spirit fell. And oh my gosh. Amen. Yes. John eight thirty six says, Therefore, if the Son, Jesus, sets you free, you shall be free indeed. And I can testify he has set me free. How about you? Amen, amen, amen. You can judge me all you want. You can hate me all you want. You can say all you want. You can try, and you might hurt my feelings, but I am going to obey God because I believe what God says about me more than what you say or do. Amen. More than what you say or do. So it's time we take our power back. Yes. We can take control of how we respond to people and situations. We can choose how we act. We choose not to react, but to be proactive. Proactive. You Mm -hmm. tell me that all the time. I do. I'm like, don't react to that. Yes. Step back and you decide what you're going to do in this situation. We can refuse to be a victim. We can pull ourselves up by our thigh-high bootstraps. Woo! We can break that mentality off and begin to speak the word of God. He's a God of love, mercy, and grace. Yes, amen. And this That's I good. know. Jesus is still <laughs> on the throne. Your call is still valid. Yes. God knows your beginning from your end and everything in between. Yes. God has a way for you to step into that thing that he called you to, that he created you to do in the middle of your mess Mm -hmm. and make you an effective, successful person in this world to be a powerhouse for Jesus in your world, no matter the abuse or the hurt. That's so good, Julie. It goes with what you taught last Last night. night. Say it. Hope. Yes. H-O-P-E. H-O-P-E. Hold Hold on. Pain ends. Hold, hold on, on, pain ends. <laughs> I love it. That was it. So hold on, pain ends. Yes. All right. So no more. No matter the abuse or hurt. The second thing that robs our power is self-degradation. We mm. talked about that. I already talked to you about that. Where you get so down on you that you are yes. unable to forgive yourself. Mm-hmm. The condition, degradation means the condition or process of degrading or being degraded. Mm. Okay. Mm. So maybe you've had a sordid past. Maybe, maybe you, I don't know, maybe you were strung out and you were a drug addict. Maybe you've been married 14 times and divorced. Maybe you um, 
left your children and went off and ran off with another man. Maybe you committed adultery. Maybe you were in prostitution or dancing at the bar on the pole. Maybe you did drugs. Uh, maybe you were an alcoholic. Maybe you mm-hmm. felt so worthless that you slept with a bunch of men to try and feel better. Yes. You're not the only one. No. Honey, you are not the only one. No. Mm-mm. No, this maybe is good. You, this maybe is good. you have committed what you, in your own mind, consider an unforgivable yes. sin, mm-hmm. either in your mind or in the eyes of society. Yes. Do you know none of this matters, you all? One second ago is past, Amen. and it is behind us. Amen. But this is your day because God loves you, and he forgives you. There's nothing you can do to no. separate yourself from the love of God. And God loves you, and he wants you. Oh, my yeah, Lord. Oh, heaven. goodness. Those of you that feel like you, nobody wants you, Jesus wants oh, you. Oh, yes, just as if you If you are. make your bed in hell, he goes to oh, hell, yes. and he gets in your bed with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Maybe your life is perfect. Maybe Ooh. maybe you're that girl that's a CEO of the of the company and go you're making a million dollars and you feel fabulous about yourself because of that, but when you go home at night, you're crying mm. in your bed because you feel worthless. Mm. Go on. Maybe you're the shopping mom. Maybe your kids are perfect when they go to school. Honey, oh. I, I don't know, but there's no walk of life. There is no walk of life. There is no woman or man or child or, or anybody on this earth that Jesus doesn't unconditionally love. love. So you've got to forgive yourself. Yeah. Oh, He yes. died on a cross. He shed his blood. He bore the whip. He bore the crown of thorns on his head so you don't have to be mentally ill. He mm. bore stripes on his back so you don't have to be sick you don't have to have disease he Mm. laid his life down for you so that you could live your life for him amen oh that was good oh my lord oh goodness that's good that's good that's good forgive yourself if you if you wouldn't hold that sin accountable to your best closest friend or your spouse Mm -hmm. you don't have the right to hold it against yourself. yourself You don't have the right. That's so good. You're worthy. You're worthy. God loves you and he forgives you. He does not remember your sin as far as the east is from the west. So forgive yourself. Amen. Live in the word and he will wash you clean. He will renew your mind. Yes. Step forward into the perfect will of God and the call to be a powerhouse. Because, honey... Your, your future is so much brighter than and your what past. You, and then so. <laughs> yes, you're going to need sunglasses. It's so good. Your future is so much Get brighter your new than shades. your past. Forget mm-hmm. what's behind and press, press toward the mark of the high calling of God. That's Philippians 3, 4, 13 and 14. So oh, good, I good, hope, good, good, good. Woo! I hope God. I'm saying. I loved it. I am so encouraged. Girl, I'm word. saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you, Jesus. What do you do after that? I mean, oh, I'm telling oh you, goodness. I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness. Those that of you is that wonderful. are watching, I just want you to know we love you. Yes. We care oh, about yes. you. Jesus cares about you. And do you know that the first step in making all this happen in your life, if you have not already asked Jesus into your heart, yes. is to ask him into your heart to be your Lord and Savior and to give him your life. Amen. It's so, so easy. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't done that, I'd like to ask you if you would pray with us. I'm going to pray, and Stacy's going to repeat it after me. And we're just going to ask Jesus into our hearts right now. Amen. Father, I thank you right now for each person listening. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you that you touch them with your Holy Spirit, that you bring them into your kingdom easily, Father God, that their life would improve and be better. So pray this after me. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. I ask you. I ask you. To come into my life. To come into my life. To come into my heart. To come into my heart. And to be my Lord. And to be my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior. I repent of my sin. I repent of my sin. I thank you that you wash me. I thank you that you wash me. Clean as snow. Clean as snow. I thank you that today. I thank you that today. Is my new birthday. Is my new birthday. That my past is gone. That my past is gone. And that you work in my life. And that you work in my life. To be all. To be all. That you created me to be. That you created me to be. And to be. And to do. And to do. All. 
all. All. That you created me to that do. That you created me to do. Now I worship you, Lord. Now I worship you, Lord. I praise you. I praise you. And I thank you. And I thank you. It's that simple, you all. If you prayed that prayer with us, please just put it in the comments. PM me. Let me know that you asked Jesus in your heart. Tell your spouse. Tell your uh, family member. Tell your circle. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Whatever, whoever. But tell somebody out of your mouth, I have asked Jesus to be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And Amen. I'm going to live for him. I'm going to live for him. Last night, someone did They comment. did. They, yeah, we had a gentleman by the name of Matt that that piped in and said, I prayed. And Julie and I and Gary just about did cartwheels in the living room. <laughs> yeah. It, we we were so Matt. excited. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, welcome, Matt, yeah, into the kingdom me. of God. And it, it was yeah. so exciting when you see that people really do pray with you. I know, I know, this. because, you know, like when we did radio, I was telling Stacy, yes. for every one call you would get back in the, what was it, 90s, Gary? It would represent <laughs> like 1,400 people that wouldn't call. Right. So I said to her, I wonder what the math is. Um, right. Every person that would actually comment in, on Facebook, I asked Jesus in my heart, how many people that represents that did also, right. you know, yes. so yes. that was great. That it was, was great. wonderful. Well, we want to talk about one last thing, and that is that we would love to make this ministry available for you. We'd love to partner with you. We want to pray for you. We want, yes. we want you to know that you're not alone. You're not alone, mm, and mm -mm. we are here. We have a dedicated phone number for you, and you can call and leave a message on that phone. It's a dedicated prayer line. You can leave a message for us. You can leave a prayer request. You can um, ask us to call you back. You can talk to us about coming to do a meeting, whatever it is. It's a great place to leave a message and call us. Yes. So that number is 859 519 859-519-0239. So, yes. So, it's a really, really easy. We'll put it in the show notes, and we will um, make every, you know all of these things available. <gasps> we didn't do any giveaways. So let's do this. So the last, oh, goodness We're going to start giving away afterwards. I got the preach on me. You did, girl. I did. I'm telling you. So the other thing I'd like to ask you to do is if you would pray and ask Jesus what, it, what, what he would want you to do to connect with us. That would include praying for us. That would include offerings and tithes. That would include... Um, you know, outreach when we do that. That would include being part of the staff for television, all of that. We have Limitless Church, which will be on tomorrow morning at eight, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Yes. Nine. <laughs> I'm getting too many times in my head. <laughs> <clears throat> but we'll be on with uh, the City Harvest Limitless Church, and we're on every Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And God is moving, you all. We reached a, a, almost 4,000 people the first month we were Oh, that's on. wonderful. That we that know is, of. Yes. That we know of. And so God's moving, but there's different ways that you can connect with the ministry. This is a 501c3 nonprofit ministry called The Voice. All of our television shows are under The Voice. All of the podcasts are under The Voice. The church is under the umbrella of this nonprofit corporation. So if you would pray and ask the Lord if he wants you to give or become a VIP, which is a voice impact partner, we would appreciate it. We would appreciate Amen. it. And it's so easy to do. Baby doll, you, if you want to put it on the screen, um, there are several different ways that you can give. I love that in this society we can give 14 million different ways. And I, I know. Do, and I myself mm -hmm. do this all the time. Mm -hmm. So the number one way is you can text the word give to 859 Six one nine seven three three three. No, six five nine seven three three three. Eight five nine six five nine seven three three three. That's the easiest way. And then if you're not wanting to tithe, you can go to TussieOnline dot com. Find some pretty cool stuff there. Mm -hmm. There's music videos. There's podcasts. There's Facebook links. There's all kinds of fun stuff. But there's yep. a donate button, and you can give on TussieOnline dot com. You can also give on Venmo, the right. Voice Inc. Right. And the cash app, the money symbol, the voice INC, you can mail to P.O. Box 263. So there's so many different ways, as you can see on your screen. But just pray. You know, Stace, to me, it's not about the amount of the gift. 
Right. It's about the connection. Oh, that's it's good. Yeah, and that's true, though. I don't care it's if you true. can give a dollar, one dollar, or a million dollars, or if you want to become a monthly partner and give a dollar or a million. I don't, right. It don't matter because ultimately Jesus is our supply. Right. And He will make sure that what He tells us to do, He will finance. Oh right? yes. But when you give into a ministry, you're giving into ground, and when you give good into ground. good ground, yes, you are going to reap a crop, a harvest mm-hmm. from right. that. So please do consider that. All right. Well, we love you so much. I decree and I declare that you will be the powerhouse, the center of your world. You will be filled with the spirit of God. You will be baptized in the Holy Ghost. You will be a powerhouse in Mm. prayer. Every need that you have will be met to the extent that you meet the needs of others. Uh I call you blessed, Grace Girl. (laughs) I call you blessed, gentlemen that are watching Every single one of you. We want you to know we love you so, yes, so much. Do. Please connect with us. Go to TussieOnline.com. Get on the email. Go find us on Tussie Television on YouTube and watch what's going on and share this with your friends. Yes. Until next time, this is Julie Tussie and Stacy Jones and guests yes. telling you, you only get one amazing, fabulous, and awesome life. Honey, live Live it it to the the fullest with Jesus. Amen. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for listening to the Julie Tussie Show. This is Pastor Julie Tussie telling you I love you. Jesus loves you. And don't forget, you only get one awesome, amazing, and fabulous life, darling. Just do it and live it to the fullest. If you want answers to health problems other doctors couldn't solve, like hormone imbalance, fatigue, weight gain, and mood issues, go to Dr. Shannon Pierce and the Journey to Wellness. You can find her on Facebook. Again, you can find Dr. Shannon Pierce on Facebook. The Facebook page, Thyroid and Hormones Women's Support Group. Let them know Julie sent you. Please go visit TussieOnline.com. You'll find all of our products there. You'll find all of our music there. You'll find many of our videos there. And you will find the give and donate portion of this podcast right there. That's TussieOnline.com. T-U-S-S-E-Y Online.com. And don't forget to go over to YouTube and search Tussie Television. To see all of the wonderful television programming that we are creating for you right now to enhance and make your life better. I'm here to empower you to fix what's broken in your life. Honey, you were not created to be ordinary, but you were created to be extraordinary. You were not created to be common, but you were created to be uncommon. You were not created to be average, but to be above average. You are remarkable. You are noteworthy. You are impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. Now, isn't that amazing? How many people tell you that? Only on the Julie Tussie Show. The Grace Girls and Company podcast and the Julie Tussie Show podcast are outreaches of The Voice Incorporated, a nonprofit ministry. If you would like to give an offering or become a monthly VIP voice impact partner, please go to TussieOnline.com slash give. That's TussieOnline.com slash give. If you'd like to go to Venmo, you can go and look for The Voice INC and also on the Cash App, the money symbol, The Voice INC. We thank you so much for your support, your partnership, your prayers, and your consideration in giving. Remember, all gifts are tax deductible. Hands in the air, lift him up. Jesus.
Play. 